Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Let's Go Aero Bike Pack Cover. This is gonna be a very sturdy cover that has things like support beams and include wiring harness and other features that allow you to carry around your different types of bikes on your Let's Go Aero bike racks, but not have to worry about them getting covered with debris or being exposed in the elements. We're gonna be taking a look at those features here at eTrailer.com. I've seen a lot of bike rack covers out on the road. Usually they're on the back of a motorhome or in a flat toe situation. And the reason they're so popular is because if you're going long distances and you're doing a lot of driving, that also means there's a lot of dirt and debris that gets kicked up from behind the motorhome. And then you have the elements coming down, hitting your bikes with those UV rays as well as water water, rain, snow. So in order to protect your bike so that it's ready to go once you get at the campsite, you might be interested in a bike cover. This is gonna look a little different compared to all of the different types of covers you might see there on the road. And that's because this one has a lot of structure to it. This utilizes zippers on both sides to give you access to your bikes and you have different support beams as well as frames to give you this almost tent-like structure over your bikes. So if you've seen the bags that go around your bikes, those are a little tricky to use just because they touch your bike's frame and they really stick tight to it and you have to use different bungees and cords to make sure that they're airtight. This one has its own support. Now, because of how it is designed, it is also very custom fit. This can only be used as an add-on or found with your Let's Go Aero V Electric bike racks, but it won't work with a Let's Go Aero V Electric with a ramp. So things like that are things worth looking into here on our site. Another thing to double check are the measurements of your bikes. So this is designed for standard bikes, whether they're road bike, mountain bikes, electric bikes, but they cannot be more than 72 inches overall. That is a measurement measured from front to tire end to rear tire end. And even when you get to those longer bikes, you might have a little bit more hassle involved with getting the bikes loaded just because you may have to make different adjustments with two bikes involved on a bike rack. So if you have, let's say, cargo baskets or like panniers in the back or even your baby carrier on your bike, chances are they will not fit on this rack with the cover installed. But the good news is, is if you do run into those situations not as often, you can always just take the cover right off and still use your bike rack. The bike material is made of a heavy duty PVC material and the material itself is waterproof, although while looking at it and looking how it's sewn together, it's not entirely waterproof. So you may still get some water entering if you have a very heavy storm. Where I see that is where the stitches happen. We don't exactly have taped seams, we do have stitches that do provide a spot for water to get into. Also, our zipper is not fully covered, so water can come into there. Also, in our corners, we do have bolts and washers that are very helpful for maintaining the sturdiness of our fabric, but another potential point of entry for water and moisture. I'm not too particularly concerned with water getting into here because the main point of the bike pack is that it protects your bikes from the big brunt of the weather. Plus, with how much space you have inside here, it does provide a little bit more ventilation compared to covers that really cinch tight around your bikes. So creating that structure, you do have these frames. and. The frames are gonna allow for a length of 69 inches in length. That's measured down here. Again, a maximum length of 72 inches for the bikes. And then you're gonna have a height of 48 inches. 
The depth of the pack is going to be 46 and a half inches deep. You can adjust your fit on each side with these buckles and that makes for a maximum handlebar length of 30 inches. So if you have those longer handlebars on those road bikes, double check that before you get this rack. And not only do you have reflectors on the sides as well as the front of the bike pack, but you also have LED lights. So this is going to be two lights with its own wiring harness included. This is actually the Kurt wiring harness and it comes with an extension of 72 inches. So this will fit from your bike rack to your vehicle. It does use a four way flat plug though. So since a lot of motorhomes tend to have seven way plugs, if you do need a seven way to four way adapter, we have one available here at eTrailer. And if you need to access your bike in the back, whether it's to load or unload it or just reach it, then you can see why this is paired with the V electric bike rack. You're able to slide that bike rack out and then get access to the rear bike. Depending on your vehicle, you also have the option of giving yourself a bit more or less space when you install the bike rack. And being able to open this up on both sides is another thing that I recommend doing when you get to the campsite. If it does rain, go ahead and unzip everything. And that way your material can air out in case moisture does accumulate on the inside. Now installing the bike cover, that does have a bit of a process because there's so many support struts and brackets. I do recommend installing it onto the bike rack first before you attach the rack onto the twin base tubes. And that's because this secures to the wings of your bike rack. You then have support beams that go up as well as cross round beams that then have to be secured. You then have a top support structure to give you that shape. And then once everything is secure, your final step is to attach the wiring harness. There is tape or adhesive on the back that secures to the bike rack, but then you also have hook and loop straps to keep everything in place. I do understand though that all the extra features does make it a more premium and pricey bike rack cover. I think it's worth it, especially when you do pair it with this bike rack because all in all, it sits at pretty much the same price point as a more premium bike rack without a cover and it is designed to be used with your motorhomes and RVs. But if you are looking for a different option that might be a little easier to purchase, maybe check out the Swagman RV cover. That is a more universal fit designed to be used with many types of hitch mounted racks, whether it's a platform or a hanging style bike rack. That one can also fit up to two large bikes but it is the more traditional cinch and strap in order to create a tighter fit around your bike style cover. It doesn't offer the same type of support and it does use more of a canvas material and then the PVC waterproof material that we have here. But if you do already have your favorite motorhome bike rack and you want a cover to be added to it, that might be the option for you. If you are interested in the Let's Go Aero V Electric bike rack and you also want that extra coverage, then I highly recommend looking into the Let's Go Aero bike pack cover instead. You can find that full kit of bike rack and bike pack cover available here at eTrailer or you can get this as an add-on to your current V electric bike rack or as a replacement part. Today we just saw the Let's Go Aero bike pack bike rack cover at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.